This is part 25 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to pass parameters to a view component in ASP.NET Core. This is continuation to our previous video, part 24. So please watch part 24 before proceeding. In our previous video, we discussed creating this view component that displays employee headcount by department. At the moment, all the department's headcount is displayed. We want to be able to filter by department name. For example, if IT is passed as a department name, only IT department headcount should be displayed. If I do not pass any department name, then all the departments must be displayed. In other words, we want to include a parameter which we can use to filter the view component results. Also, we want to be able to make this parameter optional. If you recollect from our previous video in this series, it is this employee count by department method that provides us this employee headcount summary data. At the moment, we don't have any parameters on this method. Let's include department parameter so we can filter the results by department. Our obvious next step is to make the corresponding change in mock employee repository class. First, let's make the signature of this method match the signature of the interface method. We also have to slightly modify this data access logic. I'm going to introduce a variable of type i enumerable of employee. Let's call the variable query. Initialize this with the entire original list of employees that we have in this private field underscore employee list. Since this incoming parameter DEPT is a nullable parameter, we want to check if it has got a value. We do that using has value property. If it has a value, we want to filter the results by department. So query equals query dot, we want to append the where clause dynamically. So for that, let's use the link where method and then filter the results by department. All that is left to do is instead of calling this group by method on this private field underscore employee list, we want to call it on this query. Next, we need to do a similar change within the view component itself. So within our headcount view component class on the invoke method, let's introduce a parameter of type DEPT, bring in the required namespace. And let's call this parameter department. I'm going to specify a default value of null this default value makes this parameter optional. So if an explicit value is not provided for this parameter, this default value of null is passed. And when null is passed, this where clause is not added. So all the departments are returned. All that is left to do is pass this department parameter to the repository method. At the moment, we are using this view component on only one page within our application and that is this details razor page. For that, we are using component.invocasing method and to this method, at the moment, we are passing only one parameter and that is the name of the view component. In addition to the name, we also want to provide a value for this department parameter. We do that by using an anonymous object. Inside this object, we include a property. And the name of this property must match the name of the view component parameter, in this case, department. Where do we get the value from? Well, we can hard code it to IT department if we want to. If you recollect, this details razor page displays the details of a specific employee like name, email, department, etc. For example, to retrieve the employee photopath, we are using model.employee.photopath. Similarly, to retrieve the department, we can use model.employee.department. In addition to rendering the view component from this details razor page, let's also render it from this index razor page that displays the list of all employees. We made our view component parameter optional by specifying a default value. Now, when rendering this view component from the index razor page, what we want to do differently is do not pass an explicit value for the department parameter. So let me delete the second parameter from here and then run our project. We are on the home page. Let's navigate to the employee list page. Here we see all the department's headcount. That's because when rendering the view component from the index razor page, we haven't provided an explicit value for the department parameter. 
On the other hand, when we navigate to view a specific employee details, notice on this page, we only see IT department headcount. That's because this employee's department is IT. Now let's go back and view another employee details. For example, Mary. Mary belonged to HR department. So we see HR department headcount. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.